So what's wrong with Christian comics? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christian, where we discuss questions about the church as well as original content. So let's look at some comics or graphic novels. And a definition of a comic is, a comic book is a magazine that contains stories told in pictures. So looking at this definition of a comic, it simply means telling a story through pictures or in the most visual way possible. Though comics are usually aimed at kids, while graphic novels are supposed to be aimed at an older audience. You see, the problem I have with comics is not the visual aspect, but the fact that it has to have all of its narration in the comic as well as well as its visuals and it does not sit well with me because why would I read a comic book with the same thing when there's a book next to me that says the same exact thing so now let's look at what a graphic novel is and a definition of a graphic novel is a novel in the form of a comic strip. So a graphic novel just means that it was taken from a book and made into a comic format. And these graphic novels are normally more mature than a regular comic. Now my main problem with these things is a visual aspect as well as the narration. Sometimes they are not visually pleasing to the eye or the word bubbles are so far away from the character that you get no real connection with the visual aspect of the comic or graphic novel. I'm not sure why it's designed this way, but having a visual comic or graphic novel is a good idea. And I appreciate all the people who can do that type of art. But a lot of times, especially in Christian comics and graphic novels, the pacing is off or that the visuals in the story don't connect with these characters. Now, is there a way to fix this? Sure, there is. But I must point out something before I do. Having a comic or graphic novel does not mean you have to have all the narration of the Bible in the book. That's the first mistake right here. You see, in a comic or graphic novel, they use visual cues and what the scene is describing in the Bible. So the narration that describes a scene in the Bible, all you have to do is change that to a background scene because that's what it's describing. Second, is the characters. First, the characters need to interact with one another while telling the story of the Bible. This does not mean a constant narration from the Bible to tell us what's going on. We need to make each character when the Bible comes to dialogue or you may need to add more to the story to have each character have speaking roles in telling the story. The third thing is to make your characters design differently from one another, never looking the same, but at the same time being creative with your characters. Now fourth, the word bubbles need to be closer to the characters so that the viewer, which is you, can connect to the characters more easily because if they're far away, there's a disconnect between the viewer and your character. This is about pacing. When I talk about pacing, I'm talking about the pacing that flows together and not cut out entirely, but keeps the story flowing. In manga, they get one thing right, and that is having visual cues everywhere. As you read the panel, you see the characters and visuals flow together. This is something you need to take note of. I'm not saying copy manga or anything. I'm just pointing out how it's presented. You see, when making a Christian comic or graphic novel, you need to say more by saying less, which generally means let your visuals do the talking and do not have a lot of dialogue and only insert it when needed. The same goes for narration. The only time narration should be used if it's an important part of the plot or let your characters do the narration for you. The final thing I will say is be creative. God created you to be creative, not just copy one form to another, but to express your creative talents to the world. Never lose that creativity when telling a story. And don't be afraid to try new territories. You do not have to be bogged down with just the Bible and what others are telling you to stay in the same lane. 
Look at what Jesus did. He told parables to connect with the audience. And you should connect your audience with your graphic novel, manga, or comic that you're making because we learn through stories. So I hope this helps give you some practical steps to fixing the problem and give you more freedom to do with what you want. And join me next Friday where we will discuss games. And never forget, Anime Christians is just for you.